Hello and welcome. Let's try to speed up a video in Olive. I'm just creating a new project with this video file and let me just pick a good moment to speed up. Filling Japan's hope. All right, this is good. Let me just cut this here, get rid of the rest of this video. And now we're going to speed up this part. For this, after having cut it here with Control K, I'm just going to right click on it and click Speed Duration. And here we have a bunch of controls. Speed and duration influence one another. Frame rate is an interesting one. Let's try that later. For now, let's speed it up by 200%. So make it twice as fast and half as long. It actually increases a frame rate. That's an interesting solution. We can also reverse video here. We can make that the audio keeps its pitch. We're going to try that later. And we can ripple changes so that the rest of the videos in the project get moved as well. Let's for now just try this where we only changed speed. Let's press OK. And this happens. Now let's play this back. Alright, so first we have this gap. We can of course remove it with ripple delete empty space. Or an out of this world. But let me just undo that. And we have, of course, the problem with the voice. It sounds silly. Let's go to speed duration again. It's still set to 200, so you can just change these changes afterwards as well. Let's set maintain audio pitch. OK, and now let's listen in. We have made it to start. Four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and lift off of Endeavor. Completing Kibo. Lift off of Endeavor. Completing Kibo and fulfilling Japan's for an out of this world space lab. And fulfilling Japan's hope for an out of this world space. Okay, the first time we listened to that, there was a little glitch with the audio. It ended too quickly. But the second time it did work. The chipmunk effect is gone. That's good. So this is useful. If we go to speed duration, I would recommend you use maintain audio pitch if you're trying to keep a voice normal. Let's see, what if we add ripple changes now? Okay, that doesn't have an effect. Let's just go to speed duration again, disable this and set this back to 100. And OK. And now let's change speed duration again. 200. And ripple changes. Right, so it basically automatically moves other clips, considering the space that it took. For an out of this world space laboratory. All right, so this works pretty well. Let's see what happens if we crank it up a little. Let's go to 400. And let's ripple changes as well. And let's still maintain audio pitch. All right, this is getting silly. Let's try some more. 800%? Yeah, it's time for 800%. And ripple changes. For an out of this... Having problems now. I think it's not getting all the audio anymore. But 800% uh, is probably a speed you wouldn't actually want to use for audio. Now it's completely broken. For an out of this world space laboratory. All right, still working. Right, so uh, let's see, we can probably also reset it back to 100% and if we keep ripple changes, I think it will just move the clip on the right to the right. So this is great. Let's now split it here. I'm going to use Control K for that. Booster ignition and lift off of it. And now let's only speed up this part. Speed duration. Let's go for 300% and no audio pitch keeping. And let's ripple changes. Whoops. Gotta use that reset to default layout. And let's check it out. Booster ignition. For an out of this world space laboratory. And of course, you can just speed up all of your video by simply dragging the whole thing in here and right clicking, going to speed duration, setting it to whichever speed you want. And you can control whether you use speed for that or duration. What if, for example, we want to set the entire video duration to two minutes? It will automatically calculate which frame rate and which speed value it needs to use. Now it accelerated by 
All you gotta do now is go to File, Export, set a quality of 20 is my recommendation and hit Export button, pick a folder, give it a file name and press Save. Wait for this progress bar to end and you will have your video. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel to support it. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions about video editing. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, ciao!